back again with me in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to set up or how to install react native in Mac OS you will need node watchman react native command line interface and Xcode while you can use any editor of your choice to develop your app you will need to install Xcode in order to set up the necessary tooling to build your react native app for iOS so first you need to install node and watchman I recommend installing node and watchman using homebrew so you go to brew.sh and install homebrew by copy this command into your terminal terminal just paste it and wait until the installation return and type your password okay downloading and installing homebrew we wait until it's done okay the installation is done and we type brew dash v to see the brew version and let's clear this thing clear and run the following commands in a terminal after installing homebrew first you need to install the node brew install node and we wait until it's done oh shit okay it says that I already installed the node 12.12 .12 and I don't need to install it again but if you already installed node on your system make sure it's not 8.3 or the latest okay we skip that uh, and then <coughs> the second is watchman you need to run the command brew install watchman and we wait until the installation is done okay and it says that I already installed watchman 4.9 and already up to date so <coughs> the installation is pretty simple you just need to run the the following commands in your terminal okay watchman is a tool by Facebook for watching changes in file system it's highly recommend you install it for better performance so it's an optional and <coughs> next we have to install the Xcode um, the easiest way to install Xcode is via Mac App Store or App Store and you just type Xcode in discover or the search box right here and and again I already installed Xcode but the thing is that you, you just need to click the button it says install right here or get okay um, installing Xcode will also install the iOS simulator and all the necessary tools to build your iOS apps if you already installed Xcode in your system make sure it is version 9.4 or the latest okay next uh, the command line tools you will also need <coughs> To install the Xcode command line tools, just open Xcode in your Mac. 
open Xcode and then choose preference from the Xcode menu and then go to the location panel and install the tools by selecting the most recent version in the command line tools drop down right here okay it's done and the next thing we're going to install is the simulator go to Xcode still in Xcode preference and then select the components here components here uh, and then select a simulator with the corresponding version of iOS you wish to use and I already installed the I don't know maybe iOS the latest I guess and the next thing is we're going to install cocoa pods cocoa pods is a build is built <laughs> and the next thing we're going to install is cocoa pods cocoa pods is built with ruby and it will be installable with the default ruby available in on mac os you can use a ruby version manager however we recommend that you use the standard ruby available on mac, U mac os unless you know what you're doing using the, d the default ruby install <laughs> using the default ruby install we require to use sudo when installing gems so we go to terminal sudo gem install cocoa pods and then type your password and we wait until this okay it's it says that successfully installed cocoa pods 1.8.4 okay it's done and the next thing is we're going to create a new application Rack native has a built-in command line interface which you can use to generate a new project you can access it without installing anything globally using npx okay I'm going to install npx with ships with node.js okay let's create a new react native project it's called react native in it and then project is chuba chuba and we wait until the installation is success
okay the installation is success and this is the optional if you are going to use a, sp a specific version or template you can type the following command npx react native in it your project and then the version let's say it's 59.9 or whatever and we can run our react native application we checked it and we type npx react native run ios and we wait okay you can see the simulator is pop up right here okay it says iphone 11